Brad, welcome to Southampton. I'm Stuart Manger, and I'm welcoming you to Tapa Dune, our family home in Southampton, but probably the oldest historic house in Southampton. The pool is open. And now, for more, why don't I meet you inside? I am Pad, welcome to Tapa Dunes. Sitting on top of the dunes. We have a beautiful day in Southampton. Why don't you come inside? This is our breakfast room where we've set up for breakfast tomorrow. We've got a lot of house guests as we usually do on the weekends with a beautiful view of the ocean. We did shiplap walls in here, tinted blue ceiling some wonderful uh, glass lanterns from John Roselli, and a fabulous stenciled floor in th three shades of white and gray. The tabletop is her, uh, from my great-grandmother, who was in Emma Gansett. We use it for breakfast, and some wonderful placemats and napkins from Fiona's Fines, and of course, a nice little Porto tablecloth. I'd like you to come into our dining room, which is where we all spend the evenings on the weekends. Uh, this is set for dinner tonight. We've got lots of house guests, which is typical, and family out. Uh, we've got some wonderful embroidered uh, tablecloth with coral motifs and a wonderful uh, placemats from Fiona Spines, this great old chandelier from John Roselli, and uh, some geraniums popping through the window box. We did a light coral painted over grass cloth to keep it feeling beachy and, um, and informal. And uh, these vitrines just to show some wonderful blue and white china. Come on into the family room where we all hang out on the weekends. Uh, we've hidden the television in the lower cabinet here, which is great because you don't have to look at it all the time. And above we have some wonderful painted plates from Spain. The old original fireplace still operates in the house and we've got Pierre Frey fabric on the curtains and these chairs. Footstools for extra comfort when you're lounging around and watching your movies or Netflix. Come look at one of the master bedrooms in the house. We did these walls in blue because of the ocean and the sky, and we have a sort of Scandinavian painted motif on this armoire that hides the television, and a very comfortable place for guests to sit and of course, like the other rooms, the original fireplace. This house has many bedrooms, so why don't you come in and see one more? We did this with the traditional beadboard wainscoting and grass cloth walls, and a more contemporary striped beige and white bed, and of course the Christopher Spitzmiller lamps. Come into our living room where we all gather for cocktails at night. We've got some big, comfortable upholstered sofas and the optimum view of the ocean here. I found this ikat in Kazakhstan and brought it back and made some pillows. And this is an old scalamandre fabric. The rosewood center table is something we inherited. And why don't you come on into our sunroom? This is the perfect room for reading. You get a nice, quiet breeze um, from the ocean, very comfortable upholstery. We did a soft green on the walls, like the green outside. These lamps we found in the village, there's some great local finds. And uh, the matting, the floor mat is very casual and informal from Patterson Flynn. Living hall, this red oak is original to the house. When we renovated years ago, we reconditioned it to sort of give it some life. But we love the informal quality of this rope rug and the wicker furniture very comfortable place to hang out in the center of the house. Of course, the original fireplace is still there, but come out onto the porch for the real treat. So out here, we have lots of seating with this comfortable chairs, lounge chairs for sunning, and of course, a fabulous view. Wonderful place to hang out if you're near your bedroom is this enclosed room with lots of windows for the view. We did this blue and white ecot from Bernard Thorpe in the UK um, with wicker furniture. And it's a great place to hang out and of course, fabulous view of the ocean. 
You remember that tower you saw in the driveway? Now we're in the top of the tower, which is a wonderful guest bedroom. Some guests love to move in and don't like to leave. We fitted this with two twin beds, which is great for kids, but also for couples. And it can also be made up into a king. We have these old historic eyebrow windows, which are great for cross ventilation. Thank goodness that we've got air conditioning. And a recent find with these great bamboo chairs. These are from the Saleron design in Marrakesh, and I've found them at Creel and Gow in Millbrook.